What has really helped you more? The $30 billion we've sent or... Yeah, no, yes, that. Well, hear me out. Or Ukrainian flags in our social media bios. The, the $30 billion for certain. Okay, so virtue signal not reaching Ukraine. No. Try two flags. President Zelensky, I'm so glad we could do this. See? And thank you to our interpreters. I flew a long way in the middle of a war for this interview, so I hope it's worth it. Worth it. Yes, your chief of staff is on top of things. Let's dive right in. So obviously you have a lot of global support with over 40 countries providing financial aid, yet you're still begging for more. Is that right? Absolutely, and we need it more than ever given the powerhouse we're up against. In the eyes of the world, we look like Salvation Army at Christmas time, but it does look very David versus Goliath, except in this case, Goliath wears an Adidas jumpsuit. How confident are you through all of this? I'm very confident in our military, but unfortunately, we're facing a very trigger-happy nation. Yeah, well, we knew that. Their version of roulette ain't a casino game. Now, let's rewind to 2019. How did you receive over 73% of the popular vote as a comedian with zero political experience? Well, you elected a reality star with zero political experience also. Touche, but 73% voted for a man who dances in leather pants and high heels. Are drugs a huge import there, or...? No, I think the main reason the Ukrainian people chose me was because they saw my passion for our country. Mm -hmm. It seems, though, that your passion for Ukraine may become second to your passion for playing the piano with your, how you say, wiener. Well, if you think that's impressive, you should see me play the drums. I will pass, but maybe try Ukraine's Got Talent. Now, tell me about your most recent meeting with President Biden. I bet nobody volunteered to be that interpreter. President Biden It felt like speaking with an old family member with brain damage at the nursing home. Mm. I do think you're taking advantage of Grandpa, who forgets how much birthday money he's already sent. My grandfather did not have money to give us on our birthdays, but instead made us Matonka dolls. Yeah, message lost in translation. Anywho, speaking of brain damage... President Biden... No, Hollywood denied your request to appear at the Oscars. Why'd you want to be there in the first place? Yeah. Mainly for the connections. I only have a year left in my presidency, and I'd like to pitch a fantasy movie called The Ghost of Kiev. Ah, the mythological military hero. Correct, but in my version he will be a cross-dressing musician with a leather fetish. It's an odd yet specific sense of humor you have. You do remind me of that guy on TV. Um, starts with a B. Bon, bon, yes. Uh, no, no, not quite Bon. Um, Bean. Mr. Bean. You know Mr. Bean? I'm not familiar with who you're talking about, but I appreciate the compliment. Uh, it's not, it's, yeah, you're welcome. Well, you better win the war, or else you're gonna be watching your own movie on Netflix. No? Nothing? Okay, well, again, I appreciate you chatting with me, despite the language barrier. Thank you very much. Thank you. You are... <laughs>